Hi everyone and welcome back in my studio. If you're new here, my name is Adar and I am a stone sculptor. This is a last minute unplanned episode that needed to get the priority over the scheduled ones because this work was just sold and it will soon leave my studio as it will be delivered to its new home. So before that happens, I want to briefly talk about it. I'll keep it short and concise, I promise. This work is from my series of votive sculptures that I carved between 2017 and 2019. If you have never heard about votive sculptures, traditionally they were ancient sculptural representations of body parts that were gifted to the gods by people who were suffering from a disease that affected that specific body part. In many archaeological museums, you might bump into curious sculptures of ears, eyes, breasts, arms, hands, feet, legs, but also internal organs such as lungs, livers, intestines, and reproductive structures. So fascinated by these ancient artifacts and the rituals around them, I carved my own series of votive sculptures. And drawing inspiration from their eclectic design, I decided to carve some of the sculptures according to principles of symmetry, where one half of the anatomical fragment would be mirrored onto the other half. I believe that this would give a pleasantly odd feeling to the works. So I got two ears facing each other, eyes with either an outer and inner camptus on both sides, a spherical breast, which is basically a mirroring in the third dimension. And finally, this work, which consists basically of two upper parts of a skull attached to one another. And besides being a votive sculpture, the work is also a memento mori, a trope acting as a reminder of the inevitability of death, an important element in the artistic genre of vanitas. The skull conveys the impermanence of human endeavors and the decay that is unavoidable with the passage of time. Now, without getting too deep into this, I just wanted to mention that to me, death is the main force behind all my creative efforts. The knowledge that one day everything will end pushes me to create now, to leave a legacy behind that will testify to my existence and to my thinking when I will not be here anymore. Basically, vanity all over again. Although, don't tell anyone, but I might burn all my unsold works before leaving this earth. I will tell you why another time. But enough about death and back to this piece. Due to the symmetry of this design, the sculpture also looks like an egg. And in opposition to the connotation of death carried by a skull, the egg is more a symbol of life, of new beginnings. So you might see this work as referring simultaneously to both death and birth beginning and end, the two main landmarks of our lives, an ebb and flow, the never-ending cycle to which everything in this universe is subjected. Even stone, by the way. But that's a topic for another video that is coming soon. Now, this work was carved in 2017, and unfortunately, I don't have any footage of its carving, just a few pictures of its initial stages. They don't show much except the early blocking of the work. And despite its simple look, the delicateness of the shapes was quite complex and challenging to carve. I did have some fun in carving the joints of the skull bones along the surface of the marble. As for the finish, I didn't polish it nor sand it down too much. I felt that the marks of the files were giving a nice bony texture to the marble. The highlight of this sculpture was when it was exhibited in my solo show at Havana's National Museum of Fine Arts in Cuba in 2018. In fact, the sculpture was the main image for the show, called Offerings. At the exhibition, this sculpture was shown next to this 16th century painting from the Flemish school, of which the painter is unfortunately unknown. I really like exhibiting next to old masters, as the juxtaposition of the two works creates a dialogue between time and a synergy that enriches the meaning of both works. In any case, after that highlight, a new highlight is coming up. The piece has matured and is now ready to be passed on to others. It's not mine anymore, I will need to let it go. I'll miss it, but I know that it will be in safe and loving hands. Thanks for watching, my name is Adar, and I'll see you next time.